Hi, friends. I'm Pastor Jack Mantrick, pastor at Center and I Methodist Church right here in Waterford, Michigan. Each Sunday morning, along with our message, we produce message notes. You can write in the spaces that are provided for you, or you can write in the margins where whatever is uh, helpful for you. In this particular week's uh, message notes, there's lots of space to do your own formatting in terms of how you wanted to take uh, notes. And uh, then there's five days of devotion material in this little brochure that uh, help you keep connected with the scripture and the message which is uh, based upon that scripture. So we're talking about this series of messages which is you in X years, where you can provide a horizon for yourself. So it's whether or not you want to be uh, make a major change in your life in one year's time or two years time or five years time, you decide on the horizon. And then the rest of this series of messages, we've had two messages, where uh, the reflections this week, the meditations this week are about the second message. Um, subtitled uh, In the Absence of Crisis, but we're going to keep going and moving toward how you can take steps toward meaningful change in your life, give you a bunch of resources to think about, give you the scriptural basis for wanting to make a change and, uh, and living up to all that God created us to be. That's the purpose of this message. This is more than about uh, New Year's resolutions. This is about lasting change and meeting God's uh, call upon our lives to be all that we are to be in order to work together uh, to uh, be the living body of Christ. Now, I reminded you from last week's message, the week previous to yesterday's message, um, that the ways that we let in are the ways we become set in. That is, the to, that the ways that we allow to impact our lives, the people that we allow to impact our life, lead to how we are set in our habits, our ways of doing things, um, who we are that then creeps into our very being and our character. So I also shared the, that there is a very good possibility uh, that, that the current you is an indication of the future you. So if you're more loving and caring, more compassionate and generous, if you are, um, or, or if you're um, harsh and belittle people, make fun of others, those attributes will, will become exaggerated. There's a possibility that they'll become exaggerated. So what you have to do is decide where is the, the train that you're on, <laughs> the trajectory that you're on, uh, taking you, and do you want to be that person? You know, the Greek philosopher uh, Heraclitus, who lived about 500 years before Jesus, said the only constant in life is change. And we talk about change being very difficult, and it is difficult, but it's also possible, very possible. In fact, a crisis is evidence of how we can change. We change in response to crises. If you have not uh, cared for maybe a loved one for a long time, uh, perhaps a parent, uh, maybe a, a sibling, and uh, you haven't had much contact with them, um, you wouldn't uh, think that you'd have to change your life, but all of a sudden they need you. They need your help. And uh, you change your life. You turn yourself inside out to help your loved one, a parent or, or a sibling. Or, or at least I, you'd think about it and, and hopefully make that, that commitment, that change. You know, you can get in a car accident and be stuck out in the middle of the woods. Um, and somehow you make it. You, you, you survive that. We've all heard of the, you know, the stories of superhuman strength, you know, a 120 pound mother who lifts up a car so that her baby can be taken out from underneath it, who's trapped under it, under that car. We do things in response to crises in our lives. So what we need to think about is what are the changes that we want to make in our lives? How do we want to enact those changes? And if there isn't a, an external crisis to which we are responding, then how do we create an internal crisis 
for us to uh, respond to. How do we how do we live our lives so that we can make the meaningful changes that will uh, lead to a life that is changed and transformed? Think about the changes you'd like to make in your life. What's kept you from making those changes in the past? I want you to think about these questions. In the absence of crisis, how can you move forward or how can you expect to move forward in making lasting and positive changes in your life? Let's talk to God about this. Let's pray. Gracious God, we do thank you for your wisdom, for your presence with us and your guidance so that we may know lives changed and lives transformed for the better. Give to us a sense of your presence that we may be the people you've created us to be. Help us to know how much you love us and care for us so that we can move forward into the persons that you created us to be. May it ever be so in the name of Christ and through the power and influence of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey friends, you have a great Monday and God bless you.